Hi everyone, this is Kerem, Kerem Baran with uh, Solar Academy, and I have with me Justin Red of Envy. Envy is a relatively new name in the US market, uh, in the US uh, solar module market. And uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about Justin's background. Um, Envy, a manufacturing company out of India, which is making inroads into the US uh, solar market. And uh, what makes Envy unique? Justin, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Carol. So, Justin, tell me a little bit about your story. Uh, you used to be, um, from our previous conversations, I remember you used to be with uh, Sharp in the olden days, in the very early days of uh, like 2010s, uh, I believe, uh, operating in the solar market. Yeah. Then you were an entrepreneur for a while, and then you got recruited back into the uh, solar industry to lead MV's entry into the U.S. So can you That's tell right. us a little bit about that? Yeah, for sure. Or I'm, maybe go uh, back even further if you want. Yeah, you know? so I've been in the solar industry in one form or another for the last 13 or 14 years. Mm -hmm. uh, started out in the state of Tennessee. I was in grad school um, at the University of Tennessee working on my uh, master's. And at the time, I your master's was in? my master's is in HR. So I have a bachelor's in accounting and a master's in HR. Nice. And so at the time I was, you know, when you work for a university, you go to grad school um, at yeah. no cost, no tuition. And so at the time I was working in the accounting office of the office of research while I was getting my master's degree. And this was in around 2009 after they had passed the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. Mm -hmm. And so the state of Tennessee was awarded, I want to say about 50 million or so dollars, maybe it was a little bit more, uh, to create um, the, to the Tennessee Solar Institute and to yep. expand the solar value chain in the state of Tennessee and yep. state of Tennessee. And so um, this was a program that was out of Commissioner Kisber's office, who is, as you know, was is chairman of Silicon Ranch. And so mm -hmm. uh we worked closely with his office to create two different uh, programs. There was the uh, solar installation program where we provided a per kilowatt incentive for um, commercial installations. And then yep. there was uh, what we call development grants to businesses in the solar value chain. So whether that was Sharp, AGC, AGC Glass at the time, Shoals, Hemlock, Vocker, um, that, fund was purely focused on workforce development, technical assistance, um, and then just making sure that these uh, manufacturers completed the solar value chain. The, the vision was to have everything that you need to manufacture solar modules in the state of Tennessee. And so that's how I got my start in the solar industry. And then from there, um, I was recruited over to Sharp. And so that was my first sales role. And so, you know, I was Sharp's household name. They were killing it. I was crushing it. Uh, and then after that, Sharp ended up uh, closing the doors of the of the the Memphis factory, kind of pulled back from the solar the solar business. And so uh, from there, I had a brief stint at Solagent before the changes um, with the Tochu. And then I spent the next I say five or six years with a company called Stion, which is a six thin film module manufacturer. So I've wow. sold crystal modules, I've sold thin film modules. Um, there started out as a territory rep director on the East Coast, uh, quickly went up the ranks, VP of global sales, opened new markets in Australia, uh, Turkey, uh, the Benelux area, and then obviously, you know, having sales here in the U.S. <clears throat> and so um, this film's a tough product to manufacture. And yeah. I mean, people could argue there's only one company that's gotten it right in this first solar and they're solar, still in yeah. business. Yeah. Uh, but other than First Solar, um, nobody's quite had the magic formula, and it really just comes down to the manufacturing process. I mean, you've got to turn that line on and just let it run. You it, it can't go up and down, up and down. Um, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Got it. Yeah. I I seem to remember you were involved more in the operational backgrounds of like the operational function at Sharp too, or were you ever on the manufacturing side or in the factory or? Yeah, so by me being from uh, Memphis, at the time, again, I was still living in Tennessee. And so Sharp's manufacturing facility was in Memphis. So my office was uh, there at the factory. It was oh, literally okay. uh, two steps 
two doors down from the president of the factory. Uh, nice. Uh, That's Kumamara, a good place Kumamara to be as a sales guy, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, for sure. It was, um, yeah. you know, it's great to be able to walk out to the floor, see the factory in motion, see the products being made. Um, you know, if I had an order that needed to get out, I could literally go right down to the logistics yeah. department and say, hey, let's get this on the truck now. Uh, and then also just to see the um, the people, the people at the factory, the jobs that were created as a direct result of the sales that myself and my team were out were doing. Um, closing. Yeah, so that 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 was that was full circle for me. Yeah, 